Uh, we already got our first little peek at the upcoming Netflix movie, Rebel Moon, being directed by Zack Snyder. Actually, it's going to be two movies. There's going to be part one and then part two. But the other day, they put out a full-length feature trailer for Rebel Moon. And they this time, they gave us a little bit of an idea of the story, of what's going on in it. And I got to tell you, it looks pretty good. It, it looks pretty damn good. Now, listen, like or dislike Zack Snyder, I think one thing that most people can agree upon is visually, Zack Snyder is a dynamic director. Like, he he makes visual such a centerpiece of his story. And I'm not just talking about visual effects. I'm talking he knows really how to tell stories through visuals. Some may say he struggles at telling story through traditional methods of telling story. But I think most people agree he is a dynamic very visionary kind of visual storyteller and the visuals i think of rebel moon looked fantastic the cast looks great getting a little bit of a sense of the story sounded good and i'll tell you what listen the job of a trailer is to make you more excited than you were even if you had no excitement or okay excitement or high excitement take wherever your excitement level is and bump it up and this trailer did that for me it, it got because now we got a bit of a sense of the story it's kind of some classic storytelling in here, you know, rising up, take down the overlords, whatever. But it fit well. Visually, it looks good. I love the cat. Jaimon Hansu is just a beast. Do we find out how old he is? 59. Jaimon Hansu is 59 years old. I almost nailed it. I said he's got to be near he's 60. Getting close to 60. Nice. You see the physique on that guy in this trailer? Like, he is buff as hell in this thing. Um but, and then, of course, you got uh, Jax from Sons of Anarchy in there. So, I mean, kind of like a Han Solo scoundrel character, I suppose, he's going to be playing in there. Uh, listen, I got to tell you, for me, winner trailer. That doesn't mean I think the movie's necessarily going to be great. Maybe it'll be terrible. We've seen lots of great trailers for terrible movies. All I'm talking about is the trailer. And I thought the trailer was really, really sharp. I thought it was a solid trailer. Got me more excited in seeing it. But I will mention one thing. And not many people are going to understand this reference. Rob is going to understand this reference. He and I haven't talked about this. Rob is going to get this reference. I don't think many of the rest of you will. But halfway through the trailer, and remember, I really like the trailer. Make no mistake. I'm, I'm, but I'm going to point one thing out. I half expected after one of the cuts to see her walk into a room and say, we need somebody to help us fight. And we were going to see George Papard as Space Cowboy. <laughs> Saying, sure, because basically this movie is the plot of Battle of Among the Stars. Battle Beyond the Stars. Beyond the Stars. Battle Beyond the Stars. Where, and actually a little bit to a degree, Seven Samurai, actually. Which Battle Beyond the Stars was, is a remake was of. Based which, off. In the, which is a re Magnificent Seven remake, Seven Samurai, and Battle Beyond the Stars remakes Magnificent Seven. So the classic story of somebody needing to go out and find warriors to help band together and stand up against the titanical overlord and yes i i have expect to see george papard in there with a the big cigar <laughs> call himself space cowboy but classic storytelling great visuals it, it rob for me this trailer is a winner i uh, and i am more looking forward to seeing this now than i was guys we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video quip guys you know that good health starts with good habits and quip makes it easy by delivering all the oral care essentials that you need to care for your mouth. For example, their incredible electric toothbrush. Guys, I've been using electric toothbrushes for years and this is easily the best one I've ever owned. Timed sonic vibrations with 30 second pulses to guide a dentist recommended two minute clean. A lightweight and sleek design for adults and kids with no wires or bulky charger to weigh you down. Reusable handles in a range of sleek metal hues as well as bright plastic colors sure to make a pop on your bathroom counter. Skip the bad and snap into healthy habits with the new rechargeable electric toothbrush. All the features of the original Quip plus one magnetic charge powers up to three months of brushing. In addition to brush heads, Quip also delivers fresh floss, toothpaste, mouthwash, and gum refills every three months from just $7. So if you go to getquip.com slash campia right now, you'll get 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, or water flosser. That's your 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, water flosser at getquip.com slash campia that's g-e-t-q-u-i-p dot com slash campia quip the good habits company what did you think about dude that? i gotta say i thoroughly enjoyed this trailer and 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 for the reason you 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 shouted out uh battle beyond the stars came out in 1980 it was directed by jimmy murakami and it was produced by roger corman has a great james horner score it has all these great actors like george papard in it and john boy 
Walton himself, you know, <laughs> right. plays Shad. The main hero. And so Shad has to, he's never been off his planet before. Akira is the name of the planet. It's a tribute to Akira. Um, and, you know, they go and they, they, he has to recruit all these people. And they have to fight against this villain named Sador of the Malmori. And my, one of my favorite things in any movie is they go to this character who's basically like a giant lizard man. And they're like, so you need fighters. Like, who are you fighting? And, and <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. Um, and he goes, oh, well, we're, we're fighting Sador. And the, the lizard man goes, Sador? Of the Malmori? <laughs> I'm only in this for Sador. I want his head. And then John Boy looks back and goes, oh, well, you're welcome to it. <laughs> you know, and it's it's that whole idea of of some, although it looks like Sophia Boutella is a little bit more of a badass than, than John Boy Walton was, Richard Thomas. But I just the plot of it, I mean, everything about this appealed to me. You know, all the actors, they look like they're, it doesn't look hammy. You know, this Battle Beyond the Stars is a little. Oh no, it it's, very it's very handy. It's very handy. They got it. They got it's, it. But it's fun. It's fun. But this looks like it's hardcore. You know, this looks like a heavy metal magazine kind of thing. They're going for that vibe, and I'm like, man, bring it on, dude. You know, I I just hope that people stop talking about <laughs> the Snyder Cut. Yeah. Be like, look, he's bringing us his own universe. He's created. Let's go. <laughs> let's support him. Let's go. I want to dive into that Rebel Moon Part One. I Destiny's remember, Child. I actually, I didn't love, I'm not going to pretend I loved it, but I got a big kick out of uh, Army of the Dead, uh, the one that Snyder did. I can't remember. Did you? I didn't dig it. Okay. You didn't I didn't. I mean, I appreciated it. It just seemed a little, I didn't believe it after mm. a while. I'm like, what the hell? Come on. But it was cool. <laughs> I wanted to like it more. This has that, this has that look. You know, he's got this look that he's, he's. It's kind of I like seeing the shot in in both the real world and then how he's using stagecraft. Yeah, I thought this movie looks cool. I mean, to me, it, I watched this trailer, John, and it made me feel like I felt when I saw the trailer for Battle Beyond the Stars when I was thirteen. Now, this brings up a question for me, though, which is, I think all of us have enjoyed Sophia Batella uh, in her film so far. Yeah, right. Uh, whether it was in, she kind of burst on the scene for most people with, uh, uh, I almost said League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, The King's Men. Uh, of course, she kind of bursted on the scene there. Then she was, I thought she was really strong in that one Star Trek film. I, I really liked her a yeah. lot in that. The Mummy. Jayla. Uh, the Mummy, again, I mean, many problems with that movie. She wasn't one of the problems. Uh, I loved her in um, the one, the action, the John Wick uh, action film with uh, Charlize Theron. Uh, Atomic, oh, Atomic Blonde. Blonde. Blonde yeah. yeah, I really liked her in Atomic Blonde, but Sophia Batella has never had to do a lot of acting in, in any of those, right? She's never had to carry a lot of the weight. We haven't had a chance to see Sophia Batella be the lead of a film, and this is going to be her opportunity. So I'm actually really interested to see how well she's going to be able to navigate that. You know, in the trailer, there's a, there's a trope that we've seen a lot lately, which is the mild-mannered person who you think it's just normal, is actually somebody who's a badass in disguise. Mm. We saw it in Nobody. We saw it in this trailer. And when I love the moment when that person finally opens up and reveals shows- Reveals themselves. Reveals, reveals their badassness. I don't know if you've seen the trailer for the new Mark Wahlberg movie where he plays a dad. Oh, I haven't seen it yet, but I've had a few people tell me uh, about it. You know it. what? I, I, don't, I, I understand. It's We've seen it a thousand times, but there's something about that trailer I really liked. You know, And it has that moment where mild-mattered, dude like bob odenkirk and nobody is revealed to be super secret badass agent and we saw that in sophia butel is like people are threatening her people and then she just opens up and lays ways to dudes which was very reminiscent of the bus scene in nobody yeah like, totally yeah. and i'm like man i'm so in count me in because yeah. i just i love just that scene give me a movie with that scene in it i'll watch the movie all right, guys are you looking forward to rebel moon what did you think about the trailer i again it took my anticipation level for this movie and bumped it up several notches. I think it looks great. What did you guys think about it? Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.